I'm Dr. Dan Michaels and I'm with the Reconstructive Foot and Ankle Institute and uh, in our practice we specialize in treating people with diabetes and diabetes can affect the foot in uh, many ways. So we see um, a lot of people that have uh, wounds and sores and people who have had amputations from, from diabetes and the way diabetes affects the feet it really does it in three ways. So there's circulation, okay, so diabetes causes a decrease in circulation to the foot. So you don't get enough blood down there to heal a sore or a cut. And then diabetes causes your immune system to go haywire. It, uh, high sugar causes your immune system to fail, so you don't have an immune system anymore. And then it also, high sugar causes your nerves to stop working. So you can't feel anything going on, so if you traumatize your foot, you don't feel it, you don't have blood coming down there, and you don't, you don't have an immune system anymore uh, because your immune system is damaged due to the high blood sugar. So that's kind of the trifecta that uh, can affect the diabetic foot. And uh, so that's why it's important if you have diabetes that you come in and see a specialist like me at least every six months, if not, if not more. And when you come in, we'll, we'll develop the protocol for you to come in and see us. But, um, those are the three main things that cause these problems. But using some of the techniques and technologies that we have, we can prevent any kind of problems. And, and so there's all kinds of little things that we can do in the office and, and preventative measures, including good shoes, good inserts. Uh, sometimes you need braces or you need to have your feet balanced with a brace or, or an orthotic device. So there's all kinds of devices that we can use to prevent problems. And the interesting thing about this is, aside from the biochemical problems of poor blood flow and neuropathy and the immune system, a lot of the foot is all physics. It's all math. It's all based on Newtonian physics. And there's pressure. Anytime you have too much pressure, you get a, a callus and you get an ulcer underneath there if you let it go too long. And that's a lot, a lot of times what happens with people with diabetes. They let it go too long and they're not aware of the risk. So by coming in to be evaluated and, and monitored by someone qualified to manage these things, that's going to be very important. In each one of our locations as well, we, we have a wound care center so we can deal with these wounds and close wounds very rapidly. We do skin grafting and plastic surgery if necessary to close these things. And most things like that can be done just here in the office and you don't have to go to the hospital. And our goal is to keep all your parts on. We don't want to do amputations. We don't want to take anything off. We want to keep everything intact. So that's really, it's a very natural thing that we can do to help, help restore a lot of these problems that you can have. So if you have diabetes, it's important to come in and be seen. And uh, let us help prevent any kind of bad things that can happen to your feet.